In this problem, we have a cylindrical steel rod with a diameter of 0.02 meters and length of 0.1 meters. This is with no force acting on it. It has a load applied and tension of 16 kilonewtons. Find the change in diameter given a Poisson ratio of the material of 0.29, which the Poisson ratio will be abbreviated as a Greek letter mu. We previously completed the deformation portion of the rod in the axial direction in the video Object Under Tension Find Change in Length. We got an axial deformation of 0.0255 millimeters. We also found out that it was within the proportional limit so Hooke's laws apply and the Poisson ratio formula we will be using will apply as well. To better understand what the Poisson ratio is, we must first understand what strain is. Strain is the ratio of the deformation of an object over its original dimension. So in the transverse direction, or in other words the direction that is perpendicular to the force applied, we have that the transverse strain equals the total deformation across the diameter over the original diameter. In the axial direction, or the same direction as the force, we have that the deformation in length of the rod over the original length equals the axial strain. So if we divide the transverse strain over the axial strain, we get the Poisson ratio. The Poisson ratio is the ratio that compares how much the part will expand or contract in the transverse direction versus the axial direction. So if we have the axial strain and the Poisson ratio, we can find the transverse strain. And if we have the transverse strain and the Poisson ratio, we can find the axial strain. Now it's useful to note that in tension the diameter will decrease while the length will increase. So the transverse strain is negative while the axial strain is positive. On the other hand, under compression, the diameter will increase and the length will decrease. So the transverse strain is positive while the axial strain is negative. In our example, we are under tension, so the transverse strain will be negative and the axial strain will be positive. So the part will increase in length but decrease in diameter. Going back to our problem, if we take our axial deformation over the length of the rod of 0.1 meters, we get an axial strain of 0 0.00255. Note, this is unitless because we are dividing meters by meters. We can plug in our axial strain into the Poisson ratio formula. The Poisson's ratio formula is transverse strain over axial strain. To get the transverse strain to one side of the equation, we can multiply both sides by the axial strain. We end up with a transverse strain of 0 0.00007395. Now we can set what we found the transverse strain to be equal to and set it equal to the deformation over the initial diameter of the rod, which the deformation is the total deformation of the diameter over the initial diameter of 0.2 meters. Now we can multiply each side by the initial diameter to get the deformation to one side of the equation. We get a total deformation of 0 0.001479 millimeters. We can take the total deformation of the diameter and add it to the initial diameter to get the final diameter. We get a final diameter of 0 0.01999 meters. For your reference, I've listed out all of the steps in algebra form. That concludes this video. Hopefully I've earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Thank you for watching.